Hello future teachers, my name is Ash Taylor, Technology Coordinator. In this video I'm going to be talking about integrating technology into the classroom. Integrating technology begins with having the skills and knowledge required to utilize technology and having access to the technology. I'm sure most of you, having grown up using technology, have ample experience and are familiar with many of the latest gadgets and websites. But not having had your own classroom yet, you may be a little apprehensive about how to effectively integrate that technology into the lessons you will be teaching. The best way to approach this is taking it one step at a time. In this video, I will give you four important elements that you should understand as beginning teachers that will lead you on your path towards successfully integrating technology into your classroom. The first element of this video is the role of technology. As pre-service teachers, you probably have concerns about when and where should technology be integrated into the lesson, and how much technology use is enough, or even too much. An article by Dr. Mabel Okoji states that the main role of technology in the instructional process is to facilitate learning and enhance instruction. The authors go on to say that technology integration includes the strategies for selecting the desired technologies, the skill to demonstrate how those selected technologies will be used, the skill to evaluate such technologies, and the skill to customize the use of such techno technological skills in a way that addresses instructional problems. The next element deals with 21st century skills. These are skills required in the 21st century classroom where, techno where technology such as smart boards brings a new dimension to the classroom, opposed to the more traditional way of teaching. In an article by Allison Zamuda, she states that the five most prominent 21st century skills are critical thinking, problem solving, collaboration, effective communication, and global literacy. These skills require students to differentiate between irrelevant and relevant information, actively construct meaning, consider word choice and use of details, share responsibility with others, and recognize and understand other perspectives and cultures. According to Zamuda, the 21st century work is challenging with rarely one correct answer or obvious solution and often students won't succeed on their first attempt. Using your resources is one of the most valuable things you can do for yourself as a teacher and that's exactly what, this, what the third element is, use your resources. And by resources, I mean, attend as much professional development training that deals with technology as you can. Bring up your concerns in faculty meetings and workshops, and learn from the more experienced teachers around you. Workshops and professional development seminars are great places to see technology effectively modeled. Also, collaborate with your coworkers. They have interesting ideas and may be knowledgeable in a particular program. And that brings us to our fourth point, be an advocate for change. I stress this because many teachers are reluctant when it comes to technology integration. No matter how important you believe te technology use in the classroom is, teachers, even new teachers, often do not utilize technology's full potential. In a survey administered by Russell, Bebel, Dwyer, and O'Connor, they found that teachers use te technology for preparation and work-related work emailing most often, above other uses such as delivery, teacher-directed <coughs> teacher -directed student use, recording grades, and for special education accommodations. Russell et al. also found that teachers direct students to use technology more often than they actually use it to deliver instruction. I hope this video has provided you with some useful information regarding technology integration that will be helpful for you in your classroom. Good luck!